All right, friends, uh, greetings. Pastor Chris here again. Uh, Want to get back into our devotions for uh, this week and uh, continue our discussion today uh, about fear, but looking at it from a bit of a different angle. Uh, today, we're going to look at a passage in 1 John 4, and John tells us that fear and love are not friends. Uh, that they cannot coexist with one another. And so in order for a believer to not fear, he must understand the love that God has for him in Jesus Christ. So uh, let's look at that love that God has for us. We're looking at 1 John chapter 4, uh, verses 17 and 18. So this is the words of God, verse 17. By this is love perfected, with us, so that we may have confidence for the day of judgment. Because as he is, so also are we in the world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, for fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not been perfected in love. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. For gathering us. I thank you for all those who you have brought to listen in on this devotion and all those who will hear it later on. I pray that it will be a help to your people, a blessing to your people, a benefit to your people, but most of all, I pray that it would glorify your name, uh, Lord, that your love uh, would be manifested and glorified in this study. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, so uh, when John says, by this is love perfected for us, uh, I believe uh, there in verse 17 at the beginning that he's referring to everything that has gone prior to this. And John has been talking a lot about uh, the love of God for us in this section. Uh, he says that the love of God is manifested for us and that he uh, gave his son up to lay down his life for us. We need to understand that. Uh, God loves his son more than anything else in all of the universe. God loves him more than anything else in all of creation. You cannot compare the love that God has for his son with anything else in all of creation. Uh, the love that God has for Christ is categorically different than the love that God has for anything else in all of creation. But yet, he gave him up for us. And, and we need to get hold of that. Paul says, do you want to understand, in his letter to the Romans, uh, chapter 5, if you want to understand the love that God has for us, if you, well, I'm saying if you want to understand, a good place to look is Romans 5. Uh, Paul says there that God uh, demonstrates his love for us, or he publicly puts his love on display for us in the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ. So do you want to know of how God loves you. Do you want to know the way that God loves you? Look at the cross. Okay, so um, let's uh, look at that a little bit more, uh, the love that God has for us in Christ. Um, he says, uh, so that is the love God has for us in Christ. Uh, what, what does it mean for God's love to be perfected with us? Uh, up there in the beginning of verse 17, he says, by, by this is love perfected with uh, with us. By this is love perfected uh, with us. Uh, what does it mean for it to be perfected? Well, that means that God's love becomes mature in us. Um, in order for us to have, uh, in order for us, for God's good work to be done in our lives, we must have a good understanding of God's love for us. But if we do not have a right and proper understanding of God's love for us, we will not be able to experience the fullness of the blessing of what it means to be sons and daughters of God in this life. So when we begin to understand the love that God has for us, it changes our disposition in this life, and it enables us to live differently. I hope that makes sense. Um, what does John say? We can have confidence for the day of judgment. Well, when does the day of judgment happen? Well, it takes place at the end of human history. So believers can have confidence during anything that they may face in this life 
on their way to that final day if we understand God's love for us. John says, as he is, so are we now in the world. As he is, so are we now in the world. The love that God has for his son, he now has for us since he died for us to make us sons and daughters of God. Does that make sense? The God now sees us in him and he loves us and accepts us the way that he loves and accepts Jesus, which is perfectly. <laughs> Now that should revolutionize your thinking, friends, when it comes to the things that you fear in this life. Um, uh, when you stand before God on that last day, you will find yourself accepted. Um, and people who do not have this confidence, the unbelieving uh, world, must fear everything in this life because they are not accepted. And John's argument in this section is that the believer should not live as if he is not accepted because he is accepted and he is beloved. And when we get hold of that truth and we internalize it deep down, it will destroy any fears that we may have and enable us and enable us to live more freely now. So friends, what are some of your fears? Uh, what are some of the things that you struggle with? What are some of the things that give you a great deal of anxiety on a day-to-day -day basis? What are the things that are throwing you into a panic? Remember the love that God has for you in Jesus Christ. It is perfect, unchanging, and everlasting. And the more that we begin to meditate on that truth, the more our fears will begin to dissipate and the more we will be able to have confidence in the face of the things that we fear in this life on a day-to-day -day basis. If you truly love God and you understand the love that God has for you uh, in Jesus Christ, you will find safety and security in that relationship that you have with him. Because friends, ultimately, he is the one with whom we have to do. And if he loves us, and he is watching out for us, and he always has our best interest in mind, which he does, you will find that the things that scare you in this life are not all that scary after all. So friends, I, I, I hope that that's a help to you. I hope that uh, my meditations and your meditations on the love of God uh, will give you confidence and boldness in this life especially right now in the face of uh, many things that confront us that could cause us to fret and to worry and to get excited and to act all crazy. Uh, remember the love that God has for you in Jesus Christ. And I hope that radically changes you and revolutionizes your thinking and your living in this life. All right, uh, as always, uh, uh, I am here. I'm available, praying for you. Love you all. If you need anything, please contact me. Uh, I, I would love to, to be of service to you any way I can, even if it's just praying for you or talking with you, or whatever it may be. All right. Uh, love you all. The Lord be with you. Talk to you later.